What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox 64 3D. In the last episode, we took on Katina, and in this episode, well, we're jumping back up to the hard path to take on Aquas. I hope you guys brought your swim trunks, because we're about to get wet. Star Fox, I want you to take out the enemy bioweapon. Yes, sir. Deploy the blue marine. All right, now, Aquas is a pretty interesting level. For one... It is the only solo level in this entire game, and what I mean by that is you're not going to see any of the other characters, like, flying around or anything like that because we're going to be underwater in our own submarine, so all of the other characters will just be providing dialogue and, you know, witty comments and stuff like that, but you will not have to worry about, like, saving them if they get into danger and junk like that because that cannot even happen in this level. Now, we are in the Blue Marine, as I said before, this is sort of our submarine, and the Blue Marine in it itself is actually kind of interesting because this is the only level in any Star Fox game that you actually get to drive the Blue Marine. Yeah, I guess people didn't really like this level in Star Fox 64, so Nintendo just kind of scrapped the idea entirely and never went back to it again, which is kind of sad, honestly, because I do know not a lot of people like Aquas, but this level really isn't that terrible. Like, it does get worse later on because it's a lot harder to navigate and see, but, like, starting out, it's actually kind of nice looking. Like, the 3DS makes it look really cool. There's all these, like, tropical fish swimming around and stuff like that. It's a pretty nice looking place. Although, this is sort of where it starts to take a dive because, yeah, it gets a lot darker. And the only real way you can light things up is by shooting a torpedo. Like, right now, it's still not too bad. I can still sort of see what's going on. But, um, as you go deeper and deeper into the level, I guess it's sort of to simulate, like, you know, going deeper and deeper into the sea. It gets sort of darker and darker, and you really can't tell what's going on. And holy crap, I am doing really really bad. I need to stop taking so much damage and just, like, focus on surviving and not dying in this level right now. Normally, I'm not, like, this bad at this level, but eh, whatever. I guess I just made a few mistakes early on. Probably not gonna be a big deal. Um, Aquas is actually the first level that we've encountered that only has a single exit, so pretty much no matter what we do, as long as we get to the end of the level and defeat the boss, we will continue on the hard path to Zonus, so I'm not really worried too much that I've taken a lot of damage or anything like that because as long as I survive towards the end, well, that's really all that matters. Now, I think why a lot of people dislike Aquas is just because this level is so incredibly slow, and it's really weird on the 3DS. Like, for whatever reason, the 3DS has these, like, weird ghosting effects to all the lasers and things that are moving around like even your reticule has it for like a little bit but um I, I promise you that is not like an error with my video encoding or anything like that it, it's just the way that the game actually looks when you're underwater I'm not even sure why that causes it like I mean my guess is that maybe because the game sort of like slows itself down when you're underwater like it causes that weird ghosting effect on everything that moves quickly but Eh, whatever. I guess it's not really that big of a deal since it's only for one level. Alright, um, I believe if I actually kill this fish, I will get another gold medal. Yeah, there we go. Let me just pick this bad boy up. That way we can double our shield gauge. And now we are sitting pretty. And yeah, this is like one of the few levels where, um, the other characters actually compliment Slippy. Well, I mean, you know, except for Falco, but Falco is always a jerk, so you can't really blame him. It's part of his personality, and part of the reason why we love him so much. Now, um, the area is getting darker and darker, so I'm gonna do my best to just, like, spam torpedoes. That way I can keep lighting the area up and you guys can see what's going on, so forgive me if my shots seem sort of sporadic, but I'm more interested in making sure the video isn't completely dark than I am about, like, maintaining a good accuracy and stuff like that. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about it too, Peppy. I really do. Thankfully, we've made it through, you know, some of the harder parts of the level. This portion of the level is really just so you can, like, regain your HP before the boss battle, which I desperately need to do because I played very, very poorly so far through this level. So hopefully I can just, like, get enough of those silver rings to restore my HP 
before we get to the boss. That way, you know, I don't have too much trouble taking that on. Although, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So, unfortunately, we're going into this boss battle with half HP. So, here we go. It's a giant clam. And it's really ugly looking. Like, this thing is disgusting. It's a bioweapon. It's the bacon. Well, I'm pretty sure it's actually pronounced uh, bacon, but we're gonna go with bacon just because that sounds a lot cooler. Anyways, this boss is pretty easy as long as you, you know, know how to dodge things and junk like that. But um, once it opens its mouth, what you want to do is fire a torpedo at the two tendons. So we already got one of them, which is awesome. But um, this boss will actually not take any damage from your lasers, so you do have to use torpedoes. The only problem with that is um, torpedoes lock on to like weird things. So you got to sort of like wait for it to lock on to the right thing and then fire your torpedoes. I think I got the tendon there. It looks like I blew it up, so that's good, I guess. But, um, now that we've sort of taken those out, his real weak spot will appear, and that's sort of his, uh, giant eye in the center. So now that it's actually open, we can start shooting torpedoes at that. Now, the annoying thing is that he will block them a lot of the times. Like, he can close his eye or grow this weird mass thing, which makes it really annoying to actually attack him, but eventually, there we go, we actually got a hit on him. So, if you just keep firing torpedoes, you'll get lucky eventually, and one of them will go through. Sweet, we got two in a row. Nice. Alright, if this keeps up, we might actually be able to take this guy out pretty easily. So, obviously, the longer this boss fight goes on, though, the more of these, um, like, pearl bombs he's going to shoot at you, which I believe sometimes, yeah, they will drop, um, like, silver rings, so you can restore your HP, but... I don't know, I feel like if you just like spam your lasers and torpedoes, you should be fine for the most part throughout this boss fight. I wish I had a better strategy, but I really don't. Doesn't matter because we actually defeated it anyway, so down goes the bacon. Take that, you ugly looking clam bioweapon thing. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Hopefully now that the bioweapon is gone, like, maybe Aquas will turn back to a beautiful ocean landscape again rather than its gross, nasty, polluted self that it is right now. I mean, I'm sure it'll take a few years, but it'll be fine. Heck yeah, it did. Wow, Peppy, that's kind of rude. I mean, give the guy a break, will ya? Honestly, Falco, me too. Can you really blame him, though, Slippy? I mean, he is kind of a bird. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so there we go. Done with Aquas. Some people might say that is the worst level in this game, but honestly, I don't think it's that bad. It's still a fun level, even though it is kind of slow and very different from the rest of the game. But we're done. So now that that is out of the way, and since that is the only exit for this level, we are going to continue on the hard path and the next planet is Zonus, but you know what? We're gonna save that for another episode. So if you enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.